Hi guys! So today I'm really excited for the look I'll be doing. I'm going out and I want to do something that goes very well with this dress. I'm actually going to be recreating uh, a look I did for New Year's Eve a year or two ago, I'm not quite sure. And uh, it's just a fun turquoise eyeliner, a kind of like 60s inspired and I'm gonna put on some lashes, I'm gonna put on some glitter stars, everything's better with glitter of course. So I'm really excited about this uh, and I'm going to be guiding you through it. I will not be explaining how I do my base or my brows. If you want to know more about that, I have two separate videos for that. So please check those out. Uh, I'm actually going to start with my eyes though, because when I'm uh, putting on eyeliner, I usually lean on my face quite a lot and I just don't want to mess up the base in any way. So I'm going to start off with the eyeliner actually, and then I'll cut off and do my base. And then I'll go back in to show you how to do the rest of it. So I'm going to try and guide you the best I can. Eyeliner is no easy thing and uh, it won't be this time either. Uh, but with this, I'm also going to show you how you can revive an old eyeliner because I, ha I have this really nice turquoise uh, gel uh, eyeliner. Uh, and the thing with it is that I've had it for a while and it's not the kind of color you wear the most. So it dries out quite quickly and I'm going to show how you can revive this. Actually, I'll be using, I guess it's a kind of mix, mixing medium. This mixing medium is from Inglot. It's called Juraline. Uh, a lot of brands do different ones. Just find the ones that you like. Uh, I like this one. It does the job. So yeah, we'll get right into it. So I just tucked my hair behind my ears so that I can get that out of the way. I have already prepped my eyes. I've put on some 24 hour extended eye base. It's my favorite eye primer. You can use whatever you like. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can revive an old gel eyeliner. Uh, mine's kind of dried up, so I just put a bit on the back of my hand uh, and I'll be adding the Jura line uh, to get it to the consistency that I would like. You can make it very liquidy or you can keep it uh, more gel-like or even drier than that if you'd like. As you add the Jura line, if it dries up while you're using it, you can just add a bit more along the way. So before I go in with the Jura line, I want to put a little bit of shimmer on my eyes. So I'll be using the Linda Hallberg palette and I'll be going into Virgil. Just with a fluffy brush. And I'm putting that kind of of the inner and outer corner. And then blend it a bit outwards. I'll be putting Milky Way in the middle, so that's why I'm not putting that much there. And obviously I don't have any base on or anything right now, so everything will be looking kind of weird until I get that done. Uh, I just want, want to avoid messing up my base too much, so I really prefer to do the eyes first if I'll be doing eyeliner or um, a bold eyeshadow look just in case I either lean on the face or there's fallout. I'm actually gonna take my finger on Milky Way and then pat that on the middle. So now I'll be going in with the Jura line in the gel just to revive it a little bit. So you usually don't need much of this, I just need a few drops. Uh, it probably depends on which mixing medium you use. Some you might need more, some you might need less. Uh, so I'm going to try and add a couple of drops first, just like two. So I just kind of pop it on like that. Okay, I'm doing three, I lied. And I have this, I guess, spatula for makeup uh, that I just use to kind of mix this around. If you don't like mixing on your hand, you can of course do this on a plate or something like that. You might even have like your own mixing tray or whatever it's called. Um, so you can use that if you'd like. I actually prefer to be maybe a bit too liquidy rather than too firm because it will dry up as I'm using it anyway. So now it looks kind of like this. Your hand will be a mess. So try not to bump into anything. I like to use, uh, I guess, medium liner brush. It's not super, super thin. I prefer it to be a bit thick as long as it's tapered or like um, pointy at the end. And what I usually do when uh, putting on the product on the brush, I lay it flat on each side so it becomes really nice and, and flat and pointy. I don't roll it because I feel like that will just make the tip bigger. 
So this is kind of what I do. So now I'll be making the eyeliner. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a liner along the lashes with a wing and then maybe something uh, in the crease or over the crease, I guess you would say. Uh, and so I usually follow the lower lash line uh, from the point out so you get a nice uh, angle. Usually it depends on your eye shape. In my case, I don't really have too much to work with because you see when I look like this, it's, it's quite narrow because you don't want it to go too much into your crease because uh, the liner will go wobbly. So I've loaded up the brush and then I'm kind of following that line upwards. If you want to, you can do the line across the lashes first. I prefer to do the wing first, uh, but you can do whatever you like. And then where I know I have my crease uh, or my this line coming in the way, I usually kind of make a V shape and connect it with the tip like that. And then I kind of lie my brush quite flat onto my skin inside of the angle we've made or the wing we've made and just kind of fill it in. So I bumped a little bit on the outside here, not a lot, but the thing, the nice thing now is that I ha don't have a lot of like eyeshadow or anything. So it's easy for me to go in and clean a little bit uh, afterwards. I'll show you how you can do that. And now that I've kind of got my wing, I usually just coat up the brush again. And then I kind of rest it onto the lashes and I keep it in an angle inwards instead of going like this. Because if you go like this, you don't have that much control. If you go like this, you can rest your hand on your face if you need to, or just rest the brush on the lashes. And then I kind of either tap it or drag it along the lash line. And I'm the kind of person who prefers it to stop a good way before you get into the corner of the eye. This is because on me especially, I feel like no matter what eyeliner I use, it kind of transfers around here for me. And I also feel like it opens the eye a bit more to not have it go all the way into the corner. And what I like to do with gel liners or when I've mixed in Jurline especially is that I like to kind of wipe up the brush and make it pointy and remove the excess product because sometimes I feel like the product chunks up on the brush and it makes it more difficult to use and less precise. So you can wipe it off a bit. And now I'm just going in a bit again. So now I just want to fix the mistake I made. So what I do is I use my wonky angle brush and I put it a bit into a makeup remover wipe. This is what I prefer to use. And then wet it a bit. And then just drag along the line to make it a bit sharper. This works great at this point because I haven't done any anything on my face yet. Uh, and so this technique works really well for looks like this one. One thing I will say when you're reviving your eyeliner with Duraline is that sometimes if you go over the same spot several times, the product tends to, to like chunk up a little bit. Um, so I avoid doing that. Uh, in my case, it's not that big of a deal if it chunks up a little bit because I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on the eyeliner. So for me, it doesn't really matter that much. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera. What I do recommend is that you uh, just try to look in the mirror and check that the width of the eyeliners are somewhat the same and the angles are somewhat the same uh, and just kind of just check it from every angle as much as you can obviously our eyes are usually very asymmetrical in my case they definitely are you can see the lid more on one of the eyes than the others so so it might look um a bit different anyway it won't be completely completely alike uh, but you just get them as close as you possibly can so this is probably as similar as I can get them. My eyes aren't really the easiest to do. So now I'll be doing the line on the top. I find this really difficult and it takes forever for me because it's just, it's just very technical. So then I clean off the brush or I wipe off the brush and get it pointy again. And then if you need to revive your liner a bit more, you can do that. And what I like to do is I try to look like this so I see 
how much of the lid is actually showing so that I place this line above here. So I kind of just do a little dot. where I want it to go, kind of. So then you kind of have a shape to follow, ish. And then you can start drawing the line in between. And I barely have product on my brush when I'm doing this, just because I like to start slow and then I can build build it up more if I need to. What you can do when you're drawing uh, the line, you can lift your eyes a bit so it's easier to see where you're going. And then you can just work on perfecting the line. I want it thicker in the middle and thinner on the outsides. Uh, since I don't really have that much on my lips right now, if I need to touch something up, I can do the same technique as I did to sharpen the line underneath, just so you know. So now I've made it thicker in the middle and kind of like winged them out uh, on each side. I don't want the line here to go that far down. Uh, I might sharpen this up a little bit with some foundation or concealer, uh, but so far I'm liking how this is looking. And now it's just all about doing the same thing on the other eye and try to get it as similar as possible. Which again is impossible, but do the best you can. And just gradually build the line. You saw how, how thinly I did the line at first and just build it until you're happy. And then go in and retouch it if you need to. So I went ahead and did the other eye as well. I think I'll just have to accept that this is as close as I'm going to get them. Um, the distance between everything might be different because my eyes are just different. So I'm just trying to make sure that when I look ahead, as, as much as possible shows on each side and that it looks somewhat similar. On this eye, because of my anatomy, you can just see more no matter what. So I think this is probably as close as I'll get them. What I'm noticing more and more is that my eyes aren't really made for looks like this. I've kind of had to accept that I'm getting older. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm old, but I'm really noticing a difference uh, in how how um, liners and stuff go on uh, compared to how they used to go on before. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna add some glitter now and just get some sparkle in here. So for this, I'm going to be using the brush that I used in my Valentine's video to attach the stars. Uh, to apply some glitter. So I'm going to put down some duo glue first and then I'll be tapping on some glitter with the same brush. For when or if you're getting glitter where you don't want it, use a spoolie just to wipe off the glitter. So now I've put on most of the glitter in the center. Uh, I've used a little bit of the Urban Decay, um, what's it called? Li no, heavy metal uh, glitter eyeliner just on the edges because um, I don't want it to be too intense there. And I'll be doing the same thing on the big liner. So now I've done my mascara. I'm really liking how this is looking, uh, but everything looks a bit weird at this point because I'm not wearing any base. So I'm actually going to be doing my base and my brows. So now that I've done my base, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of lipstick. And for this, since there's so much going on on the eyes, I'm gonna go with my tried and true uh, cream cup by MAC. So now that I've done that, I'm going to be doing something that I rarely do. I'm going to put on some lashes. I love the look of lashes. I'm just too lazy to put them on. And the thing is, I have no issues putting lashes on other people. That is no problem. But whenever I do it on myself, I just struggle so much. I just, I just, I'm just too lazy to do it. I think that if I did it more often, it would, would obviously go a lot smoother than it does. 
but I'm just too lazy to wear lashes every day. Uh, but for this, I, to give it more of a 60s vibe, I'm actually going to put lashes on the bottom and the top. So first I'm going to be putting uh, lashes on the bottom. Usually I prefer to have mascara on first, but for the bottom lashes, I feel like when you have mascara on first and the lashes are stiff, it's harder to tuck the lash underneath them. So I'm just going to pre prepare the lashes and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm just putting on the tiniest amount of glue, barely nothing. And I'm starting with the bottom lashes because I find that easier. And I really like to use this, especially for applying on myself. Because sometimes when you use your hands, you kind of block the view. Uh, and with this, I just feel like you have a lot of control. So I use a mix of this and my hands, basically. So I just kind of tuck this over the whole lash. And I'm going to ease, ease it under my own. Sorry for kind of blocking the view with the mirror. I just, especially when doing lashes, I really need to be able to get a clear view of what I'm doing. So now I've added all the stars. I've added some around my eyes and some around my chest uh, and some highlighter just to have a red thread in all of it. This has been a really fun look to do and it's been great to be able to record it because I did something similar to this uh, New Year's a couple of years ago and I, I didn't have time to get a proper picture and I just haven't recreated it after. So I'm doing it now and I'm really happy with it. It takes for fucking ever because this is all like detail work. But if you put in the effort, it can look really cool. One thing I recommend is if you're wearing this much glitter, bring a spoolie with you. So in case something falls out and ends up where you don't want it to be, you can just like brush it off quickly. So I'm just going to attempt to do some close up so you can see. And also a little bit like on my chest. So I've added some stars around here. Oh yeah. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Doing liners like this might not be the easiest thing on my eyes anymore, but I, I think it's really fun to try. And I will say having this much glitter on, it feels quite heavy. Uh, the same with the lashes. So just be prepared for that. Uh, and if you're someone, someone with very sensitive eyes, uh, this is probably not the best look to do, but it's really fun. So if you want to try it out, please do. If you have any questions, just ask. Everything I've used will be linked in the description bar below. Uh, and so yeah, this is basically it. So I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.